Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am going to explore more about Odoo subcontracting workflow in which in certain industry the customer who is asking to manufacture some of the products where the customer itself is going to supply the raw material and then we as a company manufacture the finished good but in order to do a subcontracting where a subcontractor will be involved and the received raw material will be resupplied to that subcontractor and then we receive the semi finished good and then we can finally deliver a finished good so how it works in sodu so let's start with you know our inventory setting where i have enabled the multi step routes and then a consignment option why consignment because whenever i am receiving those raw material from customer it is coming to my warehouse but owner is not me as a company owner is the customer itself these are the primary settings then we also need to you know enable empt your out by you know on archive and here what i have done is i have created a new route name is receive rm from customer so this is the configuration we have to enable which is applicable on product and then i am giving the action as a pull from and my operation type is i am going to receive that item from my customer and destination location is my stock location and then it will like say supply method is take from stock so this is one thing which i have configured explicitly from our standard odoo and then what i have done is now let me show you how my product configuration is so what i am going to you know sell is finished goods one based on you know my customer need and then in inventory it is always you know mto and you know replenish on order and manufacture and inside its you know bill of material what i have do is i have created a component sub ones that is subcontracting product and which is you know buy and replenish on order so this is the setting and inside that bill of material what i have done is let me just remove this min max because it is no more applicable i have already done that setting for this now bill of material will be rm1 and rm2 and this sub one is going to be subcontracted from my sub vendor one and rm1 and rm2 are two raw materials now in my master product configuration rm1 is neither sell nor purchase but what i have to do is i have to receive raw material from customer and resupply to subcontractor so this route which i have created recently is going to be applicable on raw material one and to receive that what i have done is i have created a reordering rule where i have explicitly given this particular route and then it will be auto trigger and that will do my job okay and then the same way i have raw material 2 which is again configure with receive rm from customer route and resupply subcontractor route and again i have given the min max rule and just let me make all the quantity to zero so it will not trouble us and then rm1 let me make it zero so this is what i have test so now everything is zero i don't have anything subcontracting one on hand i have let me make it again you know zero i don't have any stock and now let's start selling my product so what i will do i will create new order for my new customer for where i am going to sell him finished good one at 400 dollar price as soon as i confirm based on my configuration a manufacturing order and delivery order will be triggered so now when i go to my manufacturing the manufacturing order is triggered and due to the raw material nature subcontracting it will create a purchase order where subcontracting will be you know i am receiving this product over here as soon as i confirm this subcontracting order it will trigger a resupply for my raw material 1 and 
and then it will create a receipt for semi finished subcontract sub one product to my warehouse. Now, based on this, what Odoo will do, Odoo will automatically create based on my re ordering rule, it will automatically create the replenishment. So, over here, you can see the operation will run automatically and it will create a replenishment of receipt of RM1 and RM2 from a source location and here I will give either customer for receive from or I will directly say I am going to receive it from customer for so owner is customer for and then I validate this so over here I am receiving RM1 and RM2 from my customer for who is the origin of this order and then now based on my purchase order over here what I will do now I will be able to resupply this RM1 and RM2. So over here, if I go to inventory, now I can reserve this RM1 and RM2 and then it will go out to my subcontractor. And in lieu of that, what I will do is I will get a sub one product as a finished goods from my subcontractor. I am just registering my component. That's it. And I am validating it. So now everything is done now if i go to my manufacturing order my sub one is available to produce the final finish code i'm simply going to finish it and then if i go to my sales order customer four on my delivery the item will be reserved because it is produced based on my order and my final order is done okay so this is how i have created a configuration to receive raw material from our customer based on the subcontracting cycle and then deliver those component to subcontractor in return i will receive a semi finish and at my warehouse i in manufacturing facility i can finally manufacture the final component over here so this is a mix of a configuration and manual event where we can trigger a raw material incoming shipment or incoming receipt from our customer based on the order and based on the raw material so here you can create a custom bomb as an as soon as your you know a party or customers are asking you to regularly manufacture some items for them where they are the supplier of the raw material and we are the producer with subcontracting hope this small trick will help many people to configure odoo subcontracting with raw material receipt from customer way like this and gain advantage without any customization if you have any query do contact me on my email id or our website techvaria.com thank you guys good day